Good morning, everyone. Yeah, God morning. God has woke me, so I know if you listen to this, he's woke you too. You should be excited. You should be just exhilarated. You should be full of life. That's what he gave you this morning. So I'm here to tell you, just be thankful for everything he's done. Thank you for the good times, the bad times, the trials, the tribulations. Everything he's doing for you, he's doing for you. I want you to be able to have a joyous day, a wonderful day, exciting day. Know who you are. If you don't know who you are, get on your knees and pray and ask him. Because the one thing you're going to have to do is do his will. I don't care what it is that you do in life. When you do his will, you're doing a great deed in life. And that's what I want to do today. I want to be just excited about life. I want to be able just to move around and be able to bless somebody else. But at the same time, I want to be able to bless myself. Take time for yourself. Take time to do something that you want to do. Do something for you. It's not being selfish. It's just taking care of yourself. It's just loving yourself because God woke you. He gave you the breath. Your next breath should be like your next breath in life. You should want it. You should need it. You should want to know that you are who you are. Now, people that leave your life, they don't leave your life. If you pray to God and God wants you to do something in life or he sees you somewhere, he's going to move those people out of your life. So anyone that's supposed to be in your life, they cannot leave your life. Anyone he wants to be in your life, they have to be there because God will provide them to be there. Listen to me. Don't worry about who's not there. Don't worry about saying, my friends have left me. No, if they were your friends, they wouldn't have left because God puts people in your life that he sees in your life. This is what happens. Listen to me. You can have a lot of people around you, a lot of associates, a lot of people who keep you company, who say they're your friends, this and that. But when you turn your life over to God, when you carry that cross and you pray to God, say, God, what do you want me to do? What is my will? What is it you want me to do in life? He starts cleaning that plate. Looks like this person leaves you. Looks like this person leaves you. Look like all of a sudden this person don't want to have nothing to do with you. Trust me, it's because God saying, look, I got to clean your plate. I, got, I have to direct you to where I want you to go and what I want you to do. And those people are not part of his plan. So when you get up this morning, when he wakes you up this morning like he did me, oh God, be, be full of joy, be full of life. Just thank him. I don't care what you're going through, go through it. Keep pushing. Take your emotions out. We're, we're human beings, so we're gonna be emotional in a way, but you have to learn how to control them. It is so much going on in our life outside of just this realm of where I'm standing. So much death, so many things, so many people are going through so many hard trials and tribulations, and we take these little things and make them out of big things. We can't do that in life. We gotta enjoy. We gotta be woken up and enjoy life. Do something for someone else today. But make sure you do something for you. Do something for you. Take care of you. Do not worry about who's there or who's not there. You be there. He's there. You never see me alone. You might not see anybody standing beside me, but I always got God right here, right here in front of me and back of me. I'm always covered. I always have him with me. I always have him with me to talk to, to go to, to pray to, to ask, God, what do you want me to do? What do you want me to do? He will let you know if you take time to hear his voice. Once you hear his voice, I don't care what it is, you go do it, just like I do. I wake up, ugh, I can't not tell you how excited I am about him waking me up in the morning, giving me another chance in life to give to someone, but also to give to me. Give to myself, you should give to yourself. Love yourself, It's nothing wrong with that. Take care of you, what have you done for you? What have you invested in your life that you want to do in life? You want to do in life. What have you, how much time have you invested in that? Is it on the back burner? Are you letting somebody else tell you, well, I think you should do this. I think you should do that. What is God telling you to do? What is he telling you to do? You have to listen to him. When Noah built this, the boat, he wasn't listening to anybody else. 
he was listening to God. So you build your, your foundation, you build your dream, you build your businesses, you build whatever you need to build on God's will, on whatever God tells you to do, not with somebody else. Their opinions is good because God puts them in place for them to have opinions. But at the end of the day, in the beginning of the morning, in the middle of the night, when he wakes you, he wakes you for you to seek his will and whatever he tells you to do. So today, when he wakes you, thank him. No matter what's going on around you, no matter who's in your life, who's not in your life, ask him for his will. Wait, be patient. Wait, be patient. Do something for someone else. Do something for you. And just thank God that you have breath in your body. Thank God. Love all y'all. It's Team of Month. Let's go get it, baby.